Ironton quarterback Taden Carpenter missed most of last season after suffering a broken collarbone. The injury was crushing, but as 13 Sports reporter Jake Siegel found out, it allowed him to fly under the radar. And now those at the next level are starting to take notice. Taden Carpenter's ability and potential behind center is no longer a secret. The Ironton quarterback was recently named the 17th best QB in his class out of the top 35 players in the nation by College Football Today. I was kind of excited, but also I thought that's not the biggest thing I can do. No, I can do better than that. I guess I was surprised that his name was out there as much as it was and people, people recognized it. The talent's definitely there. When you see him throw the ball and see him do things, he's just a very cerebral kid. Once you flip on the film, there's no doubt. Carpenter is one of three others vying for the starting quarterback job. Go. And head coach Trevin Pendleton says it's a wide open competition. Our mentality is if we can have people compete every week and keep people hungry, that's what we're going to do. And the lefty signal caller isn't afraid of a challenge. I love competing because it's not, it's not really fun to just go and get a job. I, I'd rather like to have other people compete because I feel like it's more fun. You know, you did something, them, whereas if you don't, you just got it. I'd rather compete for it than not compete for it. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic canceling the team's current off-season training plans, Pendleton says he still expects the sophomore to make major strides entering his second season. Just make sure you're working and leading. You know, there's things that you can be doing to lead your team each and every day, so just keep preaching that to him. So pandemic or not, you can count on Carpenter trying to earn his spot as the Fighting Tigers field general this season in Ironton, Jake Siegel, 13 Sports, working for you. And what you might not know is that Carpenter is deaf and plays with cochlear implants, but that has not prevented him from being named one of the nation's best.